do me love baholo it is i nicole mjoli for those of you who don't know me and for those of you who do know me welcome back guys i hope you're doing well and you're keeping warm in this cold weather i do apologize for disappearing for quite a while things have been way hectic at work but anyway i come back and another thing i want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for 400 subs thank you guys so much your support means a lot and i'm glad that you guys are enjoying the content if you are not enjoying the content please tell me why tell me where i can improve i am open to receiving you know constructive criticism guys and if you do enjoy the videos tell me what you enjoy and if you would like to see me talk about something or hear me talk about something specific do let me know what you want me to talk about anyway guys anyway guys Today's video is about this thing between our heads, the brain. Yes, I am talking mindset when it comes to coaching, right? So people might be wondering, like, what does money have to do with the mindset? Well, it has everything to do with mindset. Anyway, I'll be explaining that for you guys today. Let's get into it. <laughs> guys so today's topic is something that i've been wanting to talk about forever like since before i started this channel i've been wanting to talk about it but then i was like you know what people won't really like this because they're gonna be like oh brain and subconscious mind and all the cuckoo stuff but anyway i decided to do this video because some people might be struggling to budget to invest or save and they might wonder like what is wrong with me why can't I say? Well, being broke and not being able to save and all those things might actually not be your fault. It might be some subconscious programming that you received as a kid and then it grew with you and it became a part of you. So being broke might not be your fault, but staying broke, honey, that will be your fault. As I was saying, you might have grown up or been you might have grown up being taught that money doesn't grow on trees or you have to work hard to get money or you have to you know money is evil money is the root of all evil and that is what i call subconscious programming that you received as a kid and that influenced your beliefs or yeah your money beliefs and it could be really negative or it could be positive beliefs as well and that's why you'll see some people don't struggle to um, collect money or raise money and stuff like that because they have positive money beliefs planted in their brains so that's why i decided to do this video so that we do know that some of it might not be our fault some of it might be and also i'll be bringing you guys a part two where i explain how i personally um got rid of the negative beliefs and then that helped me to start saving and investing and generating more money i'm not a millionaire yet but we won't get there honey <laughs> so this video was basically just to explain to you guys the importance of money mindset or the thoughts that you have in your brain because as some of you might know your subconscious mind basically controls about 95% of your life and you know when you're breathing when you breathe in when you exhale you don't think about it you don't go oh my gosh should I breathe now should I exhale now should my heart pump blood now you know so everything works that way in your body and also when you have deep-rooted beliefs they also become part of you know your automatic mechanisms <laughs> it becomes a part of you right so another thing that's important to know is that we have what we call a financial thermostat so i don't know if you've noticed that sometimes you try to save or you try to invest or you have money in your account and then there comes a specific time in the month where you're like mother where did my money go like i don't remember spending any money guy guy like what happened to my money 
well that might be due to your financial thermostat basically bringing things to where they are supposed to be right so what does a thermostat do right let's say you have a thermostat in a room the thermostat's job is to maintain a specific temperature in that room if you set the thermostat to 30 degrees celsius you open doors and windows and all that your thermostat will switch on and basically maintain that 30 degrees celsius temperature within the room right same with your financial thermostat it always brings you to the number which you are comfortable seeing so i know some people might be like no but i'm not comfortable seeing negative man of negative balance in my account or i'm not comfortable seeing a thousand rand in my account in my account subconsciously you might be comfortable seeing that number because you were raised that way let's say for instance you had a parent who worked hard and all that and they believe that money um, needs to be worked for and you need to spend it after you work for it you need to spend each and every cent. that thought would have been planted in your mind right so that's why i'm saying it's a number you are comfortable seeing right but do not stress we can get rid of that number we can work on it but first you need to understand what a financial thermostat is anyway guys i think i'm gonna cut this video right here and then bring you the part two where i explain how i worked on my money mindset my financial thermostat and all that right anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you guys understood what i'm talking about to summarize it i was talking about a chalete and how it works with the subconscious mind and the beliefs that you have and how that influences the money that you have or had or want to have or however anyway guys i'll see you in the next one bye